What's up, everybody? This is the Force of Nature, Spiritual Awakening, and I'm back with another Jupiter in a Sign video. So tonight, we're going to be discussing Jupiter in the Sign of Sagittarius. So first off, Jupiter loves Sagittarius. Sagittarius loves Jupiter. This is Sagittarius' home planet, okay? Jupiter rules over Sagittarius. So, this is going to be easy flowing for these people, okay? In this placement, Sagittarius is in its dignity. Jupiter is in its dignity, okay, in this placement. So now we're going to address Jupiter and what Jupiter is all about. So Jupiter is the planet of expansion. It is the largest planet in our solar system, okay? However... Jupiter has a lot to do with higher knowledge, wisdom, okay, accumulating a lot of valuable, important knowledge, okay, um, it has to do with higher learning, all right, it has to do with luck, opportunity, optimistic things, okay, this is all Jupiter, Jupiter brings blessings into our lives, it opens up that door for us to be able to receive and enjoy the comforts in life. So Sagittarius, we do know that Sagittarius is a free spirit sign. Sagittarius has a lot to do with the same things that Jupiter has to do with, with higher learning, higher knowledge, okay, exploring the world, exploring, learning different cultures, um, accumulating knowledge on several different topics, okay? These people want to um, learn and grasp and understand things, okay? They're very um, seeking out the truth, wanting to know what's real, wanting to know what's fake, wanting to know both things, okay? But very free spirit people, uh, very sociable people also, very sociable in nature, Sagittarius, in the natal birth chart, rules over the house of the ninth house. So the ninth house in the natal birth chart has to do with spirituality. Jupiter has to do with spirituality too. Okay? Gurus and things of this nature. Okay? Spiritual leaders. But the ninth house has to do with long distance travel, spirituality, higher education, higher learning. So it's all the same things I keep repeating myself, but this is the placement for its home. <laughs> so I have to repeat myself. However, we're going to just jump right into this, being that this is the uh, home planet for Sagittarius. So... Sagittarius in Jupiter, Jupiter in Sagittarius. These people, okay, um, did accumulate a lot of knowledge in their past life, okay, because Jupiter also has to do with our past life and the karma and things that we did, okay, the deeds that we have done and that we bring on into this life. So in their past life, Jupiter and Sagittarius, women and men, they were gurus, they were spiritual leaders, they were teachers, okay? They were um, people that led people to the way, okay? So, this is who they were in their past life. But now, in this life, they're going to um, do the same things. Now, in their past life, they experienced a lot of stress within the spiritual um, area, religious area. Within that circle, they experienced intense and um, traumatic experiences. So they could have been spiritual leaders. They could have been gurus and just teachers in general of speaking the word, speaking the knowledge out into the people. And... People could have um, ridiculed them. People could have, um, you know, put them down or went against them. 
okay, try to make other people um, not be on their side or not for them. So this could bring on a lot of um, stress to these people in their mind and their mental and their psychological, okay? So now, coming into this life, they still bring on that stressful, restless nature in their mind, okay, coming into this world. It's still going to be there, okay? It's going to be there. But now they come into this life, men and women, and they want to do the same exact things, okay? But they want to do it even better, okay? It's about new ways and new approaches. So these people here are definitely going to be drawn to um, spiritual things, spiritual aspects in the world, okay? They're going to be drawn to a cult, okay? Science and scientific things, mathematic and mathematical things. They're going to be um, into religious things, okay? In this life, they're going to be uh, preachers and priests. They're going to be gurus. Again, they're going to spread their word. They're going to um, lead people and bring flock, okay? They're going to bring people their way, okay? So, they did experience things in their past life that did come up against them, okay? But they do hold the wisdom. They're very wise. They know a lot, okay? These people have it imprinted in their mind and in their soul, okay, the shit that they know. These people definitely um, come into this world, okay, um, with an exploring, adventurer, adventurous spirit. So a lot of times you're going to see these people definitely um, in their life, young or old, because it's going to be a one go one process. You're going to see these people definitely uh, moving around a lot, okay, um, having a lot of different partners. You're going to also see them having a lot of different friends. Now, their friends are going to be who their friends are, but just, you know how when you're younger, you have friends. When you get older, you change it up. You decide to yourself, this is not serving me. This is not serving you. This is not working. And I'm moving right along. Okay? Because these people, they know how to move on to whatever's not being uh, useful or of service, not working out. Things are not what they should be. You know, they want to um, want to be optimistic because they are very optimistic so they do look on the brighter side but a lot of times with them the brighter side for them could just be walking away from a situation this is the damn brighter side over here okay i'm not gonna keep on going with the bullshit with you i'm gonna keep it pushing and so a lot of times you will see these people um Walking away from situations, okay? Walking away from um, unresolved issues. You can also see these people um, walking away from friendships. Walking away from um, family members also, okay? They can um, pick up and leave and just go. These are the type of people that can be living in one state and then they'll be traveling to a different country. You know, it has to do with long travel, and um, long journeys, okay, exploring and um, sightseeing, okay, so you have to look at everything in your birth chart to just see how everything's going to play out, aspects and how it's hitting, okay, but this is general. So, Jupiter and Sagittarius, these people are out to explore, to experience, to build up that experience in their life, okay? They're here to learn, okay? And to speak out what they have learned, okay? So in order to be a teacher, a speaker, a preacher, or a guru, you have to accumulate the knowledge first. But these people already come into this world with that knowledge already, 
okay? They have it in them already. So now when they open up that book or they go to that class or they um, learn from other people, okay, this is going to be 10 times more, okay, for them because anytime Jupiter's in a sign or you have a Jupiter placement with the sign, it's going to intensify it 10 times more. So every characteristic of Sagittarius, Okay, every trait of Sagittarius is going to be even heightened. So it's going to be more potent. All right. So these people are going to love to travel. These people are going to love to learn. They're going to be um, very interested in whatever they decide that they want to um, look up and read up on. Okay, researchers. These people are also researchers. Okay, they love digging up whatever is being hidden. And they do want to bring it to the light. So these people are definitely going to hold this uh, ability to be able to express out into the world what it is that's going on underneath the surface. Okay. A lot of times they can have um, friends and friendships with people that don't quite really understand them. Okay. But one thing that I can say is that with this placement, these people understand how they move and how they work. They know what makes them tick. They know what makes them stress, make them worry. So this placement, they're not concerned about so much what you think. They're really not concerned at all about how the fuck you feel. These people are concerned about building up their life experience and wherever this is going to take them along the way. Okay, that's just what it is. These people have to build up their experience, their knowledge in order to be able to be the teachers and preachers and um, priests that they're going to be. Okay, in their past life, they were already these people already. They were the type of people that people went to the people, the type of people that people talked with but felt comfortable with being able to express how they felt you know they could have also been um guidance guided counselors and life coaches okay they could have counseled people okay people felt comfortable with discussing things with them they can solve a lot of problems they can help you out in your everyday life they can give you a um a guideline Okay, how you can um, structure yourself, structure your life, better yourself. Uh, you know, like I said, very spiritual people. They were probably also very deep into astrology, deep into a cult, but it didn't have to be that way either because it could have been just religious and, you know, everything that has to do with that. But these people were very much drawn to... Um, travel great lengths, okay? So this is why I said they know a lot of shit. So whatever it was, they knew that the shit that they were talking about, spreading out to people in a past life, was proven to be fact. So they come into this life feeling the same exact way, okay? And what Jupiter is going to do in this placement is give them that platform, for them to be able to talk out, um, speak out once again to people, to teach people once again. This placement is definitely um, going to be successful and gain wealth in talking with people, teaching people, um, guiding people. So they're going to also gain wealth along with the knowledge that they have. Also, they're going to um, enjoy the comfort that comes along with wealth. So they're going to probably have a nice house. They're probably going to drive nice cars um, at some point in their life. They're going to be able to enjoy themselves comfortably and not have to feel like, you know, I'm worried and, and, and this is being weighed down on me. I'm stressed. Okay. So Jupiter in Sagittarius is going to lighten up this weight. It's going to ease up this um, energy, okay, because this, it stems also from, like I said, a restless nature inside of them. They get restless, 
you know, when things are not going uh, a certain way. So they feel like they have to be moving around, changing up um, friendships, changing up um, relationships, you know, things not working out. These people definitely know how to move on. Um, also, these people are very hard to pin down because with them, like I said, they're about to travel, they're about the movements, they're about making some damn moves. And if you ain't about making these moves with me, then you gonna be left behind. And that's just the bottom line. You're gonna be left behind if you're not rolling with what they rolling with. So you just need to know that if you are dealing with somebody or know somebody that has the uh, Jupiter and Sagittarius, okay? So, like I said before, Jupiter and Sagittarius in, in this dignity, okay? Feels very much comfortable in this placement. This placement brings wealth to them, brings luck to them, opportunities to them. These are the type of people that um, help does come their way out of the blue. And it comes when they leave expected it they didn't know it was going to happen they probably didn't even mention it to the person probably didn't mention it to anybody but somebody showed up somebody helped them out so this is what i'm saying this is how the universe works it plays out this way so these people um also are the type of people that um could be working on a job Okay, their bosses see something in them. Okay, give them a promotion. Okay, heck, now, um, can you handle this task? Okay, because we think you're doing a good job, and um, now you got a promotion. This is very uh, favorable for these type of things. These people do seek out the truth. Um, at all costs, they want to learn more, okay? With these people, it's never enough, okay? They can be very obsessive with just obtaining the knowledge, okay? If they're into astrology, they can um, go into this consistently and consistently day in and day out, and this can be their focus and their drive is... I have something to teach somebody. So in this life, it's definitely um, a drive towards helping somebody else, um, gathering up information, building up the experience, okay? So that I can enlighten you, okay? Like I said, however, they're not going to push this shit on you. They're not going to push it on you. They're going to have it for you to hear. If you want to listen, if you want to hear, if you want to get into this, then you can get it into it. But they're not going to um, push it on you. And if you don't want to, you know, make you feel a way that you should be going this way. They're not going to do that. They're not going to do that. They're free spirits. So they understand that everybody's going to have to come to some kind of decision, conclusion on what route they want to go, what path they want to go. So they're not going to... Please don't think that. Mm -mm. They're not these kind of teachers. <laughs> no. But they're very wise and they know a lot of shit. Know a lot of shit, okay? Like I said, in their past life, they have done it already. They've done it before. But in their past life, it brought them a lot of stress. It was a lot of pressure, okay, to, to just keep this shit up. Keep it going, you know? You know, they might have even wanted to probably just say, fuck it, and just left the shit alone. But it was something inside of them that could not let it go. So in this life, okay, in this life, here we go again. It's back in them. But now, because it's in Jupiter, it's going to take away the stress levels it's going to take away that stress aspect because you did put in that work and you did put in that time and dedication and even though in your past life it was intense and, and it 
just bothered you, you know, things you had to endure, things you had to uh, go through, it bothered you. But in this life, it's going to be easier for you to be able to travel. It's going to be doors that are open for you to make a difference and not feel stressed about it, okay? And this is exactly why it is easy for them to uh, walk away from unresolved issues, problems, um, problematic problems and relationships, friendships, and even family dynamics because um, they learned from their past life that, listen, I was stressed them and bitch, I ain't going to be stressed now. So if you think you about to come up in my world and do all of this, do you and I'm going to do me because I don't have the time and the space and energy for that. I'm on a different level. I'm on a different vibration, okay? I'm on a journey to explore and experience things. So if this is going to keep going like that, I ain't got time for it because I'm on my spiritual journey. And this is exactly what this placement is. They are on a full-blown spiritual journey to find and seek out the truth, which they already know, okay? But now they're going to be able to do it and not feel pressure, not feel like they're being pressured into it, not feeling like somebody told them this is what they should do. They're here to do it because this is what they want to do. So Jupiter is going to bless them. Jupiter is going to um, open up ways Pave the doors open, open them straight up for them to just be able to get to a place in their mind where they can communicate this out to anybody that wants to listen, anybody that has a listening ear, anybody that wants to receive the information, know some more knowledge, get some wisdom. Jupiter is going to do this for these people and they're going to gain wealth behind it, Okay. And in their past life, they could have probably done these same things and didn't gain any wealth behind it, okay? And probably had recognition for being who they were, but didn't get um, the full respect from all. But in this life, these people are going to have people respect them. They're going to have people that don't like them. But one thing for sure is people that speak with them, are going to see a light in them and know that these people are really about the shit that they about. Because that's what it's all about. You know how you say you talk the talk, walk the walk. These people are going to be talking the talk and walking the walk. And this is what's going to bring their flock. Because it ain't about... I say this and I'm doing some different shit. No, the shit I'm on is the shit I'm on. And people going to probably be shocked and be um, trying to figure out, damn, I didn't know they was, you know, really on that. But then they're going to realize that this is who they are. And let me tell you something with these people. These people don't feel like they have to explain a whole bunch of shit to you. They don't have to explain things to you. This is what I'm going to do. And that's that. You want to debate me? You can debate yourself because I ain't going to be going on and on with you. I'm not. I'm on to the next. I have to adventures, exploring things, risk takers, these people, they take risk, they're very much risk takers, okay, especially when it has to do with whatever it is they want to do, so this has been my interpretation of the Jupiter and Sagittarius person, please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell, so you can keep getting notifications, also, I am a caterer, if you need me to do any cooking for you for an event, be sure to hit me up. I am the Chef Goddess also. You can hit me up at Supreme Royale Catering at gmail.com. Check out my online store. It's www.grindygear.com. If you need my husband to do any work around your home or business, even a swimming pool, he got you. Hit him up at aronnesbit 90 at gmail.com. Okay, so this has been a force of nature, spiritual awakening, love is love, peace and blessings to you all. I will see you on the next one.